don't want to go. I cannot judge you. You've seen yourself die once, and that's probably once too many. There are volunteers that will gladly take your place. John Connor prepared the time displacement equipment to send protectors back in time. He knew that the final battle would not be fought here, but in the past. A resistance soldier named Kyle Reese was the first man to go back, to 1984. His objective was to protect Sarah Connor, John's mother. The second one was not a man, but a Terminator. Using the chip Dr. Mac reprogrammed, we took control of a single infiltrator unit, Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. It was sent back to 1995, to intercept the sole T-1000 prototype and protect a young John Connor. I've decided not to go back in time. Plenty of volunteers wanted to take my place. John Connor chose a man from amongst them. I only hope that he does a better job than I did. After 30 years, this war against the machines is finally over. But not all of us live to see the end of it. We never found Baron's body in the shelter. She never stopped fighting. And if she's still alive, I doubt she ever will. She was the leader we needed in wartime. But I'm not sure if she'll find a place during this time of peace. I lied to Erin about her husband to make her leave the shelter. I saved her life, but at what cost? Was it my place to intervene and give her false hope? Ryan was kicked out of the shelter because of me. I hope that one day I will have a chance to explain to him why I did that. Jennifer and Patrick left before the attack. I'm glad I convinced her to leave. I hope that our paths will cross sometime soon. Baron asked me to kill Mac, but I couldn't do it. He left soon after my warning, only to be captured by Skynet. We found him alive in one of Skynet's prisons. As for me, it was time to start over.